Hey, welcome to the second tutorial on how to create a DMOD. In this tutorial, we'll actually be creating a new DMOD and uh, placing some tiles. I'm going to show you how to place tiles on a map. I'm um, making adjacent screens as well. So, placing tiles amongst a few other basic things. So, what you want to do first is open Wind and Get a Plus. Go to File, New. We're going to come up with an idea. I'm going to come up with one right off the top of my head right here. Probably want to do the same thing. Well, you don't have to, but throughout these tutorials it's going to be based on this idea for it so finding treasures usually the cliche crap so we'll use that we'll just say dink has to find uh, a treasure involving four uh, powerful four ancient sounds better powerful orbs Um, you know, we'll just say Dink has to find four ancient powerful orbs. There we go. We'll edit it later. That's very basic, but like I said, it's just a tutorials, so it's just it's not even really creating a demo. Demo title. We'll go with orbs. Something to do with orbs. Um, orbs of orbs of the realm. That just popped into my mind. It sounds pretty awesome. Um, demo directory name. This is just going to be the name in the Dink Smallwood folder. Call it whatever you want. Usually you just take the first letter of each uh, word in your title. So O-O-T-R. Copyright author. Uh, that would be you if you're creating the DMOD. In my case it would be me. Email website. Whatever your email is at whatever it is dot com. I don't know. Whatever your email is you put that in there if you want to. Press OK. And that will create the DMOD. So you've got uh, 768 screens. Most of them are blank. These are that, them purple ones. They haven't even been created yet. And you've got one red one in the middle. That's been created. So if you actually click on that, press File, Play DMOD, Windowed Sound, Play. Um, this is your title screen. We'll edit that later. Uh, it just says your title goes here for now. Press start, and what you'll notice is you can just like walk around. You can't go into other screens because there aren't on yet, and that's all you can do. So what we're going to do is create some adjacent screens over here. So first of all, just go over a few basic things. The tiles we're going to be using. If you go to over here and press tile selector, you'll see these are all the different tile sets. But you don't want to get used to getting into them from here. You're going to be using them a lot. So you use the shortcuts. It's just it's easy to remember, it's all the number keys. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and the last one is U. So just get used to using them just like that. And press escape to go back to your screen. And they're all the different tile sets. Now to move the um make sure you're in tile mode as well. Press T to go into tile mode, you'll know because if you're not in tile mode, look, I'll go out of tile mode right now. You won't have a square. Press T, you should have a square, you're in tile mode. Now to move this map around, hold control, hold down click, and drag. And you'll be able to move it just like this. Okay, now, um, what you want to do is right click up here, press new screen, go over here, right click, new screen, right click, new screen. Right click new screen. Now you can see this one's already been detailed very blandly, but yes, detailed. A uh, little tip straight up here don't create a DMOD that's shit, okay? That's very, like, you know, not, not much explanation, but if you create a DMOD with not much detail in the mapping that looks like crap, you won't, it, it won't get a good rating, trust me. You see it a lot, and it's just a waste. So what you want to do is, first of all, as you can see up here, um, this grass looks like crap, literally. It looks like someone's crapped on the grass. So we want to create nice looking grass like down here. So go up here, press 1 to go into your first tile set. Choose some grass you like. I like to use this right here, these two. Click, drag, grab it. Press copy, escape to go back to your screen. Uh, select here, press S to stamp. Uh, by the way, C is copy, obviously. 
S stamp, yep. And stamp that all along here till you've got a row. Select the whole row, C to copy. S to stamp, select them two rows. Copy, stamp, copy the half screen, stamp it. You've got your screen. And actually, as a matter of fact, if you just delete these other screens that you made, it's actually an easy way. Once you've created this one, you can right click, press copy screen, and paste them. Go right click, paste screen, paste screen, paste screen. Now you've got four adjacent screens with good looking grass. Okay, so now you're going to detail them a little bit with tiles. So what you want to do is press uh, 1. You can go through any of these, do whatever you want. Up here we'll uh, create some rock. Just like that. And some cliff. So we'll go number 2. And select that. And as you can see, the cliff comes down a bit too far to actually put that there. So you don't... Uh, what we're going to do is this. We'll copy that and stamp it. We won't use that rock because it's too big for now. You don't have to use the whole cliff, but I'm going to use so. Stamp a rock there. Now we've got enough room for the cliff. Select the cliff. Stamp it. And there you go. you got a cliff going along there. And if you press space on a map, it'll show you the hardness. Dink won't be able to walk through this hardness. This will be the hardness will be explained further in another video, but the line around these parts is hardness and Dink can't walk through it. However here I'm gonna create uh we'll create this just actually we'll just create a big rock right here. Uh, that fills that screen up. And down here we'll create something like this. Actually, this one will do. And some water. I'm just. This is just examples. Do whatever you want. Whatever looks good. But as you can see, you're just grabbing tiles, pressing C to copy, and stamping them. Make sure they match up. Like, for instance, if I copied that, I'd grab the tiles directly under it and paste them under wherever I stamped those. Over here, we'll just create some mountain again, but we'll make it a little bigger. So, we'll go like this. Stamp that. Um, I haven't mapped for a while, so I'm just trying to think of something. Make sure, making sure they match up. Because if it doesn't match up, the screen will look like shit. And um, that ain't gonna work. Whoops! Hang on. I accidentally pressed escape too many times, so just had to go back into the screen. Okay, there you go. That's that's the mountain. It's a little rusty there because I haven't mapped for a while, but you know it turned out alright. Ah, uh, you might find yourself not. It might not look good at first, but you just deleted it. You got 50 undos. Remember, Control Z to undo. See, Control Y to redo. And yeah, just until it looks good. So now you press File, Save, File, Play, Demod, Windowed Sound, Play, Start. And you've got four screens, the hardness, you can't walk through it, so it's good. One there, one there. One there. And one down there. And that will, the water will automatically animate if you used the first set of water tiles. So that is how to create, uh, how to place tiles to help detail screens and stuff. And... I'll see you next time for the third tutorial. See you then.